Slip fitting, a unique industry insider's trick that allows you to take up extra space when you don't have an expansion tool or a swaging die. Now what does all of that mean? Well, I'm going to show you in today's episode of TFS Fast Fab, a full length quick fix or modification episode in less than five minutes. Let's get on it. Alrighty, so if you just jumped on here to get the sound clip, jump to 3 minutes and 40 seconds. But for the rest of you guys, we're working on an M235i BMW, and this end right here is called a swage. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, the narrow end is actually 2.5 inch diameter tube, OD, and the bigger end is actually blown up or expanded. So if you put the factory tip over a 2.5 inch tube, you see it wiggles around a little bit. And I'll give you another angle right here just to kind of show you what it is. Now some people would be like, oh, why don't you just stick a longer bolt in there or something like that. Well, the reason why is because it's uh, very likely to fall off even if you put a longer bolt in there. So if you don't have the tool to actually make this swaged end, uh, such as an expansion tool, you find them at like the local exhaust shops or whatever the case is, or a swaging die, which is a hydraulic uh, force that pushes it over a die to form it into that shape, then this is a unique trick uh, for you, which is called uh, slip fitting. So you get your tube cut down to length. This is the actual length of the tip itself, and as soon as you get your length correct, we're going to slice it right down the middle. Now if you're doing this by hand, watch carefully, it pops just a little bit at the end. So if you're holding it by hand, just be careful. Now you need something to kind of expand it to get it to slip over the other tube, the existing tube that's on there. A little encouragement with my knee. And once I realize that my knee is going to hurt really bad, I grab a hold of a hammer. Uh, just a little bit of encouragement. You don't need to, like, you know, beat the smash out of it or anything like that. Just, you know, just enough to get it to smack on there. Now I did line it up to where I need it to be on this actual piece here, and uh, for the muffler delete itself. And we're just going to burn down a nice little autogenous tack. Well, you know, nothing fancy, no filler. You know, it's not structural. It just needs to stay on there, and, and of course, not come off. So, a couple extra tacks around the end here, just to. A little bit of extra. I'm going to throw a couple on the sides as well and one underneath just to make sure that it does, uh, it, it stays on there the way it's supposed to, just you know, just like it should. So, after I get this burned on here, we're actually, uh, I'm going to get it cut down the length and then we're going to do some cleanup work on it. And after I got to cut down, the cleanup work is going to come with a flap disc. Now, I need to make sure that these ends are nicely trimmed up and neat and even and uh, with each other because once the tip does slip on there I'll show you a shot of what that actually looks like. I'm going to take these welds at these edges down just a little bit as well to make sure that the tip slips over there just the way that it should. And We'll get it installed back on the car, check this exhaust tip, slides on there, pop, just like normal. Now this is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now the whole point of this muffler delete here with, with the customer that came in here was to ensure that it is 100% bolt-on, including using the factory OEM tips and the clamp and everything else like that. But as it sits on here, you notice how nice and perfectly even that is on the inside of that exhaust tip. And if you didn't have that slip fit joint or if you didn't swage it, it would not sit like that. Even if you put a longer bolt on it, they'd be wonky as can be, they'd be crooked as can be, it's, it, they'd be really nasty. So. This is pretty much what it looks like. Now just a little bit about it. I like to keep it nice and tucked away so you can't see it, but this is the point where I get quiet. Check this out. Now that's a nice clean tone. I really like that. So take a look under here. You notice it's all nice, clean, tucked away. You can't see anything. That's a pretty awesome install. So. That's about all there is to it. Pretty simple. Now, if you want to check out more episodes in less than five minutes, go ahead and check out this hashtag, TFSFastFab. Every single time one of those uploads, you'll find it as long as you know how to search. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel for more really awesome content. Check out some of these extra videos we've got going on here, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.